Hi, I'm Flor Castillo, and this is Tell It Like It Is. This week, I investigated an important issue among workers in Massachusetts, raising the minimum wage. This is an issue that directly affects Northampton High School students. Many students have jobs, whether it's after school or on the weekends, and these students may get a pay raise as early as 2021. The Massachusetts minimum wage increased to $11 an hour on January 1, 2014, making the state have one of the highest minimum wages in the country. However, many groups say this isn't enough, and some states, such as New York, have already scheduled to raise their minimum wage to $15 an hour. Proponents that want the bill to raise the minimum wage pass met in the state house last week and are discussing about how the current 11 an hour minimum wage does not meet a fair living wage. Organizations such as the Pioneer Valley Workers Center and Race Up Massachusetts are also working to make raising the minimum wage a ballot question in 2018. So what we're currently engaged in as Jobs with Justice and the Pioneer Valley Workers Center is the Raise Up Massachusetts campaign. So we're engaged in the fight for 15 to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour for all workers and to raise the tip minimum wage significantly. So right now, you know, with $11 an hour working full time, it's very difficult for workers to be able to make ends meet, um, to be able to put the food on their table, to pay their bills. So we believe that in raising the wage to $15 an hour, we'll be on our way to being able to better survive in a country that's the wealthiest country in the world. So yeah, I, I believe we'll win. There's definitely a movement across the country um, for this, and I think Massachusetts is ready to be a part of it. Under Hampton High, the Young Democrats Club is helping to bring this issue into discussion among students. On Wednesday of this week, a former city council conducted a training at their meeting to train students into collecting signatures to include the minimum wage on the voting ballot. I think it's important for NHS students to know about our minimum wage because it's our future. And I feel like how much the country um, pays its lowest level workers is a reflection of how much we think people deserve. I think, I, I think that's an issue and, that, and these are rights that everyone in NHS has a lot of, a lot of vigor is passionate about. So wh what I want everyone in NHS to know is that right now there's a lot of issues they could be working on. But with minimum wage, um, if we collect 220,000 signatures across the state, we can actually change the future of our state. So we're really trying to join the movement. So our question is really, how do we take the energy at NHS and how do we throw it into this movement? So if you want to start tomorrow, you don't have to come to a Democrats meeting. You can look online and find the dates yeah. that people are collecting in downtown Northampton. It doesn't matter if you're um, a 40 year old who knows everything about policy or if you're a 15 year old on the street. When you collect, when you collect a signature, it has the very, very same impact. If the bill is passed, Massachusetts workers will find themselves working for $15 an hour by 2021. I'm Flor Castillo and this was Tell It Like It Is.